Hello and welcome to lesson 12. Uh, this the lesson 12 is titled Set Yourself Free from Worry, Anxiety, and Fear. You see, when we have problems as human beings, the next natural things that happen to us is that we begin to be anxious or we begin to worry. We begin to worry that this problem may not go away. We begin to worry that this problem may lead to a greater problem. And um, sometimes we begin to worry that this problem may lead to our untimely death. And when we continue to worry like that, you see, anxiety is going to set in. Because what causes the anxiety and the worry is because we are not certain that we are going to get solution. Uncertainty is what brings the worry. Uncertainty of a solution. Uncertainty that God can help us in the situation that we find ourselves. This uncertainty, you know, brings us to that level and position where we begin to fret, worry, and fear. And when we begin to fear, the devil uses our fear to work against us, to fight against us, and most of the time because we are worrying and we are fearful we cannot win you cannot win the battle when you are afraid i like to watch those wrestling people when they are fighting you see a small statured man you see overcoming and winning at the end even though the big statured man has mesmerized him beat him you would think that this big statured man is going to kill this small statured man but at the end you see the smaller man winning the battle this is because you see you need to get to a point in your life when you have to be bold in the book of isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10 god is talking to you there he said fear not because i am with you don't be dismayed because i am your god I will be, I will help you. I will be with you. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. God is saying, don't be anxious. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, it says, don't be anxious for anything. By prayer and supplication, let your request be made known to God. And Jesus said, he said, don't be careful, don't be anxious about what you are going to eat or what you are going to drink or the clothes you are going to wear or the house you are going to leave. God knows that you have need of all these things and your Heavenly Father will provide all these things for you. But there is one thing Jesus said you should do. He said, seek you first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all the things that you need shall be added unto you. You can see this in the book of Luke chapter six, Matthew chapter 6 from verse 25 to 31. These things are there. God does not want you to fret. He does not want you to be anxious. He does not want you to be afraid. Because this is a sign that you are afraid that God is not with you. When you are afraid, you are sending a signal, a wrong signal in the spiritual atmosphere. You are sending a wrong signal that you don't believe God. When you are anxious, you are sending a wrong signal that God cannot help you. When you are afraid, when you are fearful, you are, you, you, you are saying to yourself that I'm alone. God is no longer with me. But God says I am with you. In the book of Isaiah chapter 49 from verse 14, God asks a very, very important question. He said, can a woman forget a sucking child that she will not have compassion on the son of her womb? God answered that question by saying they may forget. He said, but I will not forget you. No matter what you are going through, when you go through the waters, I'm there. When you go through the rivers, they will not overflow you. God says when you go through the fire, the fire will not burn you. You see, the fire will not burn you. It will bless you. You see, God will, is with you in whatever situation you find yourself. Don't be anxious. Don't be afraid. You see, don't, be, don't, don't worry. Worry is a sin. In fact, worry is a sign that God is not with you and God is always there with you. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. Believe that. Your problem will go away when you believe that God is with you. When you drive worry out of your life, when you drive fear far from you, when you drive anxiety very, very far away from you, then you will see the hand of God. You will see the miracle of God. I can guarantee that. I believe you have had this. This will help you. Go and practice it. You need to practice this. Thank you so much. See you in lesson 13.